Hello, my name is Michael with Millennium Computers and this is how to repair my computer.com. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install malware bytes for a secondary line of defense for your virus protection. First thing you're going to do is open up your web browser. You can use whichever one you want. And in the search engine, you're going to type in malware bytes. And if you come down here, the very first link you see should be uh, malwarebytes.org. And right underneath of that should be the download section. You're going to want to click it. And it should automatically start the download process. Go ahead and click save. Once it's done downloading, it should only take about a second. You're going to want to run it. Once you click run, you can go ahead and minimize your web browser and then click run again and then we'll start the installation process choose whichever language you prefer I'm gonna pick English click next click next again I accept the license agreement click next 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 now if you would prefer to have a quick launch icon feel free that would be these icons down here on the bottom to where all you have to do is click it once to run it. I'm not going to have one, so I'm going to just leave a desktop icon, click next, and install. This should only take a few seconds. Now once you get to the screen, there are two things you want to uncheck, but that's your own preference. For me, I'm going to uncheck enable free trial because I don't want to have to pay for it. You want to leave update malware bytes anti malware. And for this tutorial, I'm going to leave the launch malware bytes anti malware checked. So once I click finish, it's automatically going to update and run. So let's click finish. Now it's connecting to the server to download the updates. This shouldn't take too long. As you can see, it's successfully updated. So we're going to click OK. Now it's going to open up the main screen. Now here in the main screen, we're going to do a couple tasks to help prevent it from uh, missing certain items. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come over here to settings. And in the general tabs settings, make sure you click uh, terminate Internet Explorer during threat removal. And then we're going to come over here to scans. And if you come down here, there's going to be two of these we're going to change. The first one is uh, this very first one. You want to click it and come down and click show in results list and check for removal. And you're going to do the same thing with the bottom one here. This way no matter what it finds it's going to have it checked for removal. If it has any hint of uh, being infected it will find it and have it ready for removal. Now once you've done that successfully, come up here to Scanner, and it is recommended just to do a quick scan your very first time, and we'll click Scan. <coughs> now during the scan process, if you notice where it says Objects Detected, zero, if it finds anything, it will put a, start changing that zero to a number and highlight that whole area red. And then once the scan's done, We'll be right back. Alright, we're back. It just got done running the scan on my computer. And yours might not pop up exactly like mine, but it'll be somewhat similar. The first thing you have here is a report on what it scanned, how long it scanned, and if it found anything, what it found. In my case, mine came back clean. So I'm going to close that out. And then the other window it says scan complete no malicious items were found so we're gonna click OK now if it did find something on your computer there will be a button that's labeled 
show scan results. Once you click the show my scan results, it will list everything that the program found that were harmless to your computer or that could potentially harm your computer. It's early in the morning, sorry. Now, once it pulls up that list of everything it found, what you're going to want to do is make sure you scroll through and make sure everything has a check next to it. If it does not have a check next to it, please put a check beside it. And then once you've completed that, you're going to click Remove Selected Items. Now, depending on what it finds when you remove selected items, once it's done, it might ask to do a restart. That is perfectly fine. Go ahead and restart your computer. Now, typical rule of thumb, if it finds anything of uh, more than 50 items, please run a full scan. But if it finds anything less than 50 items, just do another quick scan to make sure it successfully removed those items found. Again, this is Michael with Millennium Computers. Uh, tips and tricks on how to keep your computer clean from howtorepairmycomputer.com. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Until next time, have a great day.